The Riverside County Sheriff's Department is mourning the loss of a veteran deputy who was shot and killed during a traffic stop yesterday afternoon. Sheriff Chad Bianco said the suspect pulled out a gun and shot 20 32-year-old Deputy Isaiah Cordero as he approached the vehicle. Investigators say the deputy was killed by 44-year-old William McKay, who was later located in San Bernardino County and led authorities on a pursuit. McKay's vehicle was disabled by a spike strip and he was killed during the shootout with deputies. A somber procession that included hundreds of fellow deputies was held last night for Deputy Cordero. Good evening. This is the KTLA 5 News at 530. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Rivera. William McKay, the man detectives say killed Deputy Cordero, had an extensive criminal history and was convicted of a third strike in November of 2021. Sheriff Chad Bianco says he believes Deputy Cordero would still be alive if a judge had sentenced McKay after the third strike. Instead, the judge reduced his bail, allowing him to be released. KTLA's Chip Yost is live in San Bernardino with more on McKay's history. Chip. Yeah, hey there, Sharon Pedro. We are outside a courthouse here in San Bernardino where we have been reviewing the criminal record of William McKay. And as you talked about, it is an extensive one. In fact, at the time that deputy was murdered yesterday, McKay had a warrant out for his arrest because he missed a sentencing hearing in a case in which he could have been sentenced to 25 years to life. These are just two of the mugshots of William Shea McKay, the man accused of shooting and killing Riverside County Sheriff Deputy Isaiah Cordero during a traffic stop Thursday afternoon. Later that evening, the sheriff described some of McKay's criminal past. William had an extensive history, criminal history, dating back to before the year 2000 which consisted of kidnapping, robbery, multiple assaults with deadly weapons, including the stabbing of a California Highway Patrol canine and many more. The sheriff said McKay was already a three striker at the time of the deputy's murder. Court records show he got his first strike from a 1999 case that included a high speed pursuit and waving a firearm at officers. He was sentenced to three years in that case. His second strike came from a case in 2005 where he was accused of busting into to the room of a sleeping couple beating them and stealing $3,700 from their safe. He got 13 years for that one. Then in November of 2021, he was convicted of false imprisonment, evading police again and other charges in a case where he was accused of tying up a woman and holding her hostage. But instead of sentencing him immediately, the San Bernardino County District Attorney says the sentencing was continued and his bail was reduced to $500,000 dollars against prosecutors wishes. McKay later made bail and was released, something the sheriff took issue with. He should have been immediately sentenced to 25 years to life. The judge reduced bail, allowing him to bail out against the objections of the prosecutor. And here we are today. Now, through the court, we did try to reach out to the judge involved in that case, but so far have not heard back. For now, reporting live here in San Bernardino, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. Chip, thank you.